The truth is I didn't go to a dentist for my entire adolescence. Or I think the last dentist visit that I had was when I was about 13 and I was so intimidated about going to a dentist. I actually didn't go until I was 22 when I went to see you and before then there were no dentist visits. So I was, uh, yeah, I was very, very nervous about going to see a dentist. I had some eating disorder experiences and I knew that going to a dentist would pick that up. Uh, looking at the enamel erosion, a dentist I knew would be able to detect that and for a long time I was in denial about what I was going through with the eating disorder and so I didn't want my parents to find out about it so that was an issue as well. I guess in a way I was almost avoiding my smile when I looked in the mirror every day because it was very very confronting to actually look at it in a photo um, but I think my attitude was well I have to confront this if I want to do something about it. The reason why I actually decided to go to Dr Vicky Ho was because I saw the big picture on the front of the business and it, I thought it looked gorgeous. I just walked past and I thought, wow, only in my dreams could I have a smile like that. I, it almost felt out of my reach somehow. I thought, you know, it was not even possible. But I think that's the factor that made me take the first step. I just saw this beautiful smile and I thought, well, why not? <laughs> I've held back for this long, I, I think I should go and do something about this. My first contact with the practice was actually by phone. When I, I phoned up and spoke to Nadia and she was very thorough with me. I was probably on the phone for a good 20 minutes to her. She took me through a lot of questions and she made me feel very comfortable. I was very happy and I think after that phone conversation, the first call that I made, I felt very comfortable about coming in here. So um, the next stage was actually really exciting because I was faced with the concept that I could choose any kind of smile I desired. It was like being able to make my dreams come true. I could choose the length of my teeth, I could choose the the type of shape that my teeth were going to be, I could choose the colour. And it was almost hard to believe that this was possible. I could just pick my dream smile and that was actually very exciting for me. It was something that I, I didn't think would be possible and it was finally coming true. I thought this is my reality, I'm going to have the smile I want and that was very, very exciting. Well, I really thought the operation was not as bad as I, as I anticipated because I did have some nervous feelings, I haven't really had any operations before in my life. Um, so I think the whole process, it was very exciting and you know, I, I'm so grateful that I went through it all. To me they look more beautiful every day. The more I look at them, I just, I really can see now how wonderful they are. It's a dream smile, that's, it really is. <laughs> now when I go to the hairdressers and I'm looking at all these glossy magazines, I can actually look at all of these famous people with gorgeous teeth and say, I have teeth like this, <laughs> and look in the mirror and say, yep, they're there. <laughs> Experiences with my new smile have just been completely life-changing. I can't even begin to describe. Just to begin with my work experiences, I can just give so much more to customers. I, I smile so much more freely. Uh, my social life has changed immensely. Just being able to laugh and joke and not have to worry about trying to smile whilst hiding my teeth. Now when someone takes out a camera, I don't have to try and hide my teeth, which is something I just did for years and years. <laughs> <laughs>